there's a big uncertainty around the world. A lot of people are in denial that the world is at war. London has 300 languages. How do you deal with that? Cities around the world are now having many cultures, many communities, many people from different countries in their city. How do you deal with that? My name is Samuel Mohammed. I'm 13 years old and I live in Southall. My religion is Islam and my identity is British and I'm very proud to be British. What we need to do is to create unity in our societies today with young children because if we don't do it now, we will foresee possibly a problem in 10 years' time. The world is a more complicated place now for youngsters than it was when I was growing up. Social media, access to the internet. Terrorist organisations use social, social media, such as Snapchat, to communicate with vulnerable children. I've known incidents. One girl has been approached and one of our people helped her and made her not go because they were all wrong. Snapchat works in a system that would delete messages after five to ten seconds so they could not be recovered in the history. Puff is an education program that uses football and sport as the means of educating. Human values, rule of law, but most importantly, British identity or European identity or Australian identity. Tuff has many great supporters and dignitaries, one being the former president of the U United States, Barack Obama, His Holiness Pope Francis, the president of the European Parliament, Tajani, international former footballer, Diego Maradona, the organisation was acknowledged by Her Majesty the Queen in 2012. And most recently now, the Mayor of London, Sadiq Khan. What TAP does is provides a safe place to have those discussions. There's expert advice on TAP. But also what's really, really inspiring is how they encourage youngsters to go and become ambassadors. And these ambassadors have the street cred, if you like, to talk with young people so they can address the issues they face. Sport helps build resilience. It's about confidence, self-esteem, and respect. When I grow up, I would like to be a professional footballer, or I would like to be a, a lawyer, or like Dr. Shimanda Tarwa, so I could help other people through radicalization, racism, and other problems they face. The Tough Project is incredibly important for all cultures and all communities and all children from all backgrounds because you can't teach Muhammad and Saima those values when Tom and Harry and Sarah won't accept them in the first place. This is a dual nature project where both work hand in hand. Both sets of children need to be taught so when they come to a level they will basically integrate and have an understanding of each other. This is not more a battlefield anymore. The battlefield is the street now. The weapons are cars, vans, kitchen knives. People will use anything just to show their anger, just to show their hate. Coming from Iceland, we, of course we don't have the same imminent uh, problems right now in Iceland towards uh, different um, ethnic groups, but that's why we're probably in an ideal situation to consider a project like that. Recently, we've had Iceland uh, take both our programs and they are calling it the um, Iceland National Security Project. They recognize that before there are any issues, they need to resolve them before they take place. I think the organization needs support from all different angles, from government, from media, from other charities, from schools, from institutions, from businesses, because everybody is involved in organizations like TAF. Everybody requires an organization like TAF. Every country needs the, the ethos of TAF. TAF is needed around the world because it will help other children stop going to these places, 
We teach old-fashioned human values, you know, etiquette, how to stand up for the elderly, be kind, be considerate, be aware of somebody else's need for help because you may be in that position one day yourself. There is no color of the skin, there is no color of the flag, there's only the color of the heart will make our world a better world and we all have to contribute to it. If I could change anything in the world, I would change how people are treated. There's one thing that I want to be in this world, that is peace.